Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, CJ from CJ Sharpening. And the reason I'm here today is that I want to introduce you to the GMT, the Adems GMT. Okay, the unveiling, the official unveiling of this machine. This is our uh, new little machine here, and it's very simple to use, okay? Can't emphasize that enough. I've never had any training on this machine by nor the factory or uh, none of the representatives here in the United States. Uh, this is the first machine, and the reason I have the first machine is because um, I had purchased it before there was a distributor ship here in the United States. Okay? Uh, that being said, uh, I want to show you how easy it is to clamp it, to clamp your nipper in there. Very simple. There's a little screw down here. Yeah, I'm not tighten it too hard. Just raise it up, put it in, put it out, put it in there. You square it off in there. You look for an angle by aligning it with the wheel. You can move this little knob here and it gives you lateral movement. And then you have your up and down and it holds down here. Okay, so I'm gonna take it all the way as close as I can to the wheel. And I'm gonna tighten it up just a little tad. And I'll readjust it again. And once you have it square, the, nip, the, the nipper itself has an angle on it. So basically what you do is mimic that angle. Or at least that's what I did, mimic the angle. You want to see the angle from this end? Let's turn around here so people can see the angle from this end. You see, it's, this is basically what I'm talking about. Up and down movement, lateral movement there. You bring it over here. You place it. You hold it. More or less that the wheel doesn't hit the, uh, the inside of the, uh, of the plier itself, or the nipper itself. And you adjust it. Once you get that flat, you feel that flat feeling. That's what I did. I don't know if that's the, exactly the correct way of doing it, but that's what I did. Adjust it up a little bit. And that's it. So easy peasy. Turn on your machine. Here, this little speed knob over here. Mine's is in English, so you can, guys can see. It's not in Russian. So you have a light there, and you have a light over here. You adjust your little light so you can see better. I should have done that from the beginning, and I should have taught you all this stuff from the beginning. On, off, very simple. And you move the little speed dial here, and it starts moving. So at this speed, all you got to do is just tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. It moved a little bit. I didn't adjust it properly. Remember, I don't have too much training here. That's it for that side. Just adjust this, this knob here. Bring it down, move it to the other side, bring it up. You want to stop it, you can slow it down. Do the same thing, look for that angle on that side. Get it there, adjust. Adjust, hold it there, so that, same thing. You bring up the speed again, tap, tap. Tap, tap, you got the inside of it. Okay, that being done, turn off the thing, bring it down here, move it to here, here to straighten it out, because now you're gonna remove the plier from here, and from this angle here, and you're gonna bring it over here. Turn around, go around so people can see. I'm gonna move this the side here a little bit. There's a little screw in here. I think I screwed it in too far. You're gonna put the nipper in there. You're gonna hold it like so. Okay, you're gonna bring it like this in this angle here. We're going up again. And we're looking for that face. Remember, everything is on zero here. So zero will give you a flat face. So you, we're gonna adjust it right there so it doesn't come down. And we're going to start it again. So we go again, little speed, and we hit it. Pop, 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 pop. Remember that one thing I'm not addressing is that 
This is the finest wheel on the machine. There's other coarse wheels that actually rotate. So you would actually, on a rough, you know, since this already is done, on a, on a, on a rough uh, a, a, a nipper, you would go and, and you would start by, by using the other wheels, you know, and, and cut as much as you can. They have like four different sizes of wheels there and four different grids. So basically all I did is just polish it so I wouldn't ruin the, the work already done for, uh, for my wife. So basically you have the rough, the medium, and then the polishing one all the way down. And another one that's a little bit coarser than this one. So that we will have to practice with and play with. Remember, this is not an official training uh, video. This is just uh, something that I was asked by Dana to uh, show you guys, you know, and, and I, I'm doing this in, you know, in... Well, let's call it like it is, in good faith, you know, because that's how it goes, you know. So, um, I guess that concludes everything. I mean, it's as simple as that. And I will show you a few pictures of the, uh, of the nippers itself. I want to show you a few, nipper, uh, few pictures of the nippers itself so you see the, the high end, the quality of the sharpening itself. It comes out very, very polished. And I mean, I am absolutely tickled to death with my machine, okay? Even though it's a 220 and I had to buy a transformer. But, you know, I don't know if uh, uh, Dana says that they're, they're all going to be equipped 110. So I guess voltage-wise, voltage we won't have any problems here in the U.S. But if not, you know, you can always get a, uh, a transformer like I did. And that adds up another $50 or $60 to uh, the cost of it. But I'm happy. So thank you very much for uh, seeing this and good luck and buy all the ones you can. This is a nice business. I think uh, I'm pretty sure that podiatrists and, 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 and all kinds of nail salons are going to start, you know, uh, buying better, better nippers because the reason, you know, I've said this before, the reason they're buying all these cheap nippers and stuff like that is because really to now I haven't, I didn't find, I hadn't found a machine in the U.S. that I think, that's my personal opinion, could stand up to the GMT. Uh, there might be other ones out there in the world. They might be. Uh, so, well, but for now, this is the king.